Welcome back to yet a brand new video. I came across this post the other day on, you know, Bob Lamb's uh, blog, you know, rap page. Days since these last artists have dropped an album. It made me realize, you know, it's been a while for some of these artists. Some of the biggest artists in the game didn't drop in 2022. There's still a lot of artists that, you know, dropped this year. I feel like consistently in the underground and in the mainstream and even in other genres other than hip hop, we got a good variety of albums. And, you know, there was consistently album drops. We weren't left empty too many Fridays this year. I also would say that a lot of, of my favorite artists and like some of the other bigger artists in the game uh, didn't drop and therefore I don't even think there's a 10 out of 10 album this year. The big highlights on this list for me, you know, is Travis Scott. The last time he dropped was Astro World, and then he's been hyping up Utopia. And to be honest, I'm not like the biggest, biggest Travis fan, but when he's gonna be dropping like a full length project, everyone's gonna have their eyes on it. We do have Uzi on this list. Last time he dropped a full album was Eternal, a take, but you know, obviously like he did the whole deluxe thing with it. Uh, he's dropped, you know, Red and White mixtape. He's dropped the Future collab tape. I do think his most recent hit single, Just Wanna Rock, is gonna be a great single for Pink Tape. Ho hopefully Pink Tape, you know, is in rollout season. Hopefully get it sometime in the near future. I feel like the Uzi hype has been up recently with that Just Wanna Rock song. Next up is Playboy Cardi. Now, the last album he dropped was Whole Lotta Red. Um, you know, that was obviously Christmas Day 2020. I think the album still sounds insane. It gets better and better. I mean, I was listening to it yesterday. I can't say it sounded brand new because I didn't like it at first, but you get what I mean. I, I love Whole Lotta Red. This is one of the better albums we've had in this 2020s decade. You know, with his performances and everything, he just kind of the album just kind of kept getting better and better over time, so I'm not starving for new Cardi music. I, I will hope that he starts a new rollout. You know, we got a couple features or like songs like Miss the Rage to drop, but he, he hasn't dropped music since Whole Lotta Red. Would love to see what Lil Yachty's working on. I watched a podcast with him recently, he says the new music he's making and everything that he's gonna put out is is his best and he thinks it's just another world, its own genre. He's just creating something different this time. Last time we saw him was on Michigan Boy Boat. He hasn't really done too much since other than the whole like Poland thing blowing up this year, but I don't really know if that's like an album related song at all. That was just kind of a song that wasn't meant to come out, just happened to blow up and everything he said. On to Trippy Red. Where is a love letter to you five? It's honestly like a meme at this point in the Trippy community. Obviously we've made a ton of videos on this channel since he dropped the last single but never put out the album this November, which I was dead set on it dropping mid to late November. I really thought we would have the album. We'll see if it drops December. Other than that, maybe he'll be waiting until February as like a love album for Valentine's Day, something like that. I don't know what he's waiting on. I, I just wish he would share maybe the cover or track list or just tease something. Next up on this list is Tekka. Last time we saw him was last year with We Love You Tekka 2. Other than that, he really hasn't done anything. I think he posted a snippet recently. We'll see what he's working on. I'm not sure what project it is, but you know, I'll be listening. I like all of his projects. I think uh, Tekka is definitely an established artist who can put on a good show. He can produce for the underground. He's, he's kind of in his own lane almost. I added on to this post, you know, some other of my favorite artists and the kind of projects. I want to see what they're working on, see what we're going to get possibly in 2023. The first one, obviously, uh, Juice World with The Party Never Ends. Are we getting that in a few weeks for Juice World Day? Or are we waiting till maybe New Year's? Cause that's like a party thing or is it next year? I'm not sure. We're gonna see, we're gonna have to make more Juice videos. Uh, hopefully a song drops this Friday for his birthday. That that would be awesome. I'd love to see Biscotti in the air release, but hopefully we can start making more Juice videos on The Party Never Ends. Next after that is Leroy, which I just kind of made a video on his snippets and everything. I need him to first just drop a song because he's dropped one of his own songs this entire 2022. Seems like this album, uh, the first time, you know, his debut album is gonna be dropping in two parts, 10 songs, and then like a deluxe of 10 more more songs, you know, in two different parts. And I'm completely stoked for it. Like I said, in that snippets video, he just has so many amazing songs in the vault. He just kind of needs to drop a single first, but I would love to see this early 2023. I also put Glaive on my list. You know, I just made a video on him, you know, about his album. He's kind of been teasing a lot of snippets to it. And, you know, hopefully we get more songs from him in the future. I'd love an early 2023 release um, from Glaive as well. I think his last couple singles have been amazing. So, you know, I've been making more videos on Glaive recently. Hope you guys have been liking them. My list is gonna keep twisting and turning of my favorite artists. I wanna see Central C. I wanna see what he's working on on his album. He's dropped a few mixtapes and just getting hotter and hotter every time he does so. Um, he's definitely one of, 
he's definitely my favorite, you know, UK artist, uh, not counting 21 Savage, uh, but you know, UK drill artist, that, that, that whole scene, Central C, is one of my favorite rappers. I've listened to him quite a bit this year. I'm really interested to see what he's been working on because he did drop, you know, that little throwaway EP recently. That was pretty good. Um, but I'd love to see, you know, an album from him. Next up on the list is Corday. Hopefully he drops early next year. A lot of people did not like his album from this year um, from a bird's eye view, which I don't think that was his best project. I think it was still cool he still gave us some good songs and everything but he's been hyping up this new mixtape called the crossroads corday is one of my favorite artists and one of my favorite people um as well and you know i had the pleasure of actually being able to talk to him last week which was pretty dope in twitter spaces i'm excited to see what this mixtape is about hopefully get that early 2023 i put ian dior on my list because he's put out some fire singles this year along with uh one of the better albums this year i would say but he re-signed to internet money looks like he's gonna be working with taz taylor all of those guys i think his best album is industry plant um, which he made on that label and with those guys so if they can you know recreate that and just you know go back in that mode and just start grinding you know Ian Dior has been in album mode not sure what it's exactly going to be called it's, I don't think it's going to be rebirth or anything but this list is going to keep getting weirder and weirder onto the underground Case Wall has been hyping hit me when you land all year I don't know why it hasn't dropped to be honest I thought it was going to drop in the summer dude's been teasing it forever and I'm pretty sure it's dropping this December only a couple left on my list I wanted to mention where is Ski Mask been dude I was almost going to make a video on this and I might I'm um, he dropped that Ooga Booga single on like Halloween-ish time, which was a really good single from him. He kind of came back with that. Um, but I just want to see him drop more music, man. It's just been years after years of just nothing, dude. I don't know why he just won't drop a project, man. I think there's a track list going around or something. We can dive into it in the future and possibly make more videos on him. But hopefully he drops a project soon, man. They're saying November. Of course, nothing happens. Of course, nothing drops. And then lastly, Young Thug. He dropped that album cover, which was really hard. And it was like early on this year. So, I mean, clearly he was working on something. It just obviously has been delayed because, you know, YSL, Young Thug, Gunna, all those guys have been in jail. I see people post this all the time. He dropped his hard ass album cover. But we never got the album. We don't even know what it's called. We don't know what it is. That's going to conclude my list. Let me know what your guys' most anticipated album is. For more videos dropping soon, we're on the road to 1K. Sorry I've been rambling all video, but thanks for sticking around all the way to the end, man. It means a lot. And yeah, I'm out, guys. Peace.